Hello everyone, welcome back to Boundless Learning. This is the second video of the chapter that we started in the previous one, which is chapter of class 10, Life Processes. So without further delay, let's start with the today's video. And the topic which we are going to cover today is particularly nutrition. And we'll discuss what is nutrition and what are the different modes of nutrition. Kya aise different methods, different processes hain jisse saare living organisms nutrients derive karte hain from the food that we intake. So without further delay, let's get started with today's video. So first and foremost question which we might ask is what exactly nutrition is? So the word nutrition is derived from the word nutrient. अब आप पूछोगे कि nutrient क्या होते हैं? Nutrients are any substances that give us energy. जैसे हम जो complex food intake करते हैं, उसके अंदर carbohydrates present होते हैं, proteins present होते हैं, then fats present होता है. Majorly ये तीन components होते हैं. कुछ amount of minerals present होते हैं as well as very little amount of vitamins are present in our food. So all of these five components are of our food is nothing but nutrient. Then this is a very important point. This is the definition of nutrition. और आपके exam में भी ये बहुत पूछी जाती है. So, what is nutrition? The process of intake of food, breaking down into nutrients and utilizing it for the growth and maintenance of our body. Now, this sentence ka kya matlab hai? Hum rose apni diet mein complex food intake karte hai. Jaise koi bhi humne dal chapati khai, rice khai, ya fir koi dairy products humne consume ki like milk, butter, ghee, etc. To is complex food mein different nutrients present होते हैं अब ये nutrients हमारी body as it is utilized नहीं कर सकती इसलिए हमें क्या requirement है हमें इन nutrients को break down करना है into simple substances ये simple substances would be utilized by our bodies यही जो complex food है, इन complex food का जब breakdown होगा into simpler substances, यही simpler substances हमारी body utilize करेगी for growth as well as maintenance of our body. So this process of breakdown of food is known as nutrition or deriving nutrition from the nutrients present in the complex food. Food or complex substances. The next point says the same thing that the complex food that we intake has nutrients. हम जो complex food रोज लेते हैं उनके अंदर nutrients present होते हैं जो कि break down होते हैं into simpler substances and these simpler substances can be easily utilized by our body for producing energy. यही जो simpler substances utilize होंगे इसी से energy derive होगी जो हम अपनी body में use करेंगे for various processes जैसे growth के लिए, maintenance के लिए हमारे जो tissues अगर damage हो गए tissue के repair के लिए उन cell division के लिए सब processes के लिए हमें इसकी requirement है हमें simpler substances की हमें energy की requirement है energy कहां से मिलेगी? from the food that we intake I hope this is clear so moving on हम रोज अपनी डाइट में बहुत सारे फूड्स कंज्यूम करते हैं एंड दीज आर द डिफरेंट फूड्स दैट गिव अस न्यूट्रिशन द पिक्चर अलोंगसाइड शोस अ फूड पिरामिड फूड पिरामिड हमें ये बताता है कि हमें कौन सा फूड कितने अमाउंट में कंज्यूम करना है फॉर एग्जांपल हमें फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स सबसे ज्यादा अमाउंट में कंज्यूम करनी है फ्रूट्स सबसे ज्यादा एंड देन vegetables then we have to intake some amount of proteins then dairy products such as milk cheese butter etc 
और सबसे कम अमाउंट में हमें रिक्वायर्ड है फैट्स एंड ऑयल्स ये फैट्स और ऑयल्स हमें मेजरली कहाँ से मिल सकते हैं फ्रॉम इधर सीड्स और फ्रॉम नट्स मिल्क डेरी प्रोडक्ट्स हैं लाइक मिल्क और चीज घी पनीर एक्सेट्रा दीज आर ऑल द डेरी प्रोडक्ट्स देन प्रोटीन्स वी कैन गेट फ्रॉम इधर पल्सेस और मीट फिश एक्सेट्रा वेजिटेबल्स यू नो दे आर ऑल द ग्रीन लीफी वेजिटेबल्स लाइक स्पिनेच एक्सेट्रा and lastly we have to consume a lot of fruits particularly juicy fruits like watermelon musk melon uh, bananas pineapples and oranges these are the different foods that provide us nutrition then comes different modes of nutrition ab hame pata hai hamare एनवायरमेंट में हमारी सराउंडिंग में देर आर प्लेंटी ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म बहुत सारे डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनिज्म हैं अगर हम अपनी बात करें वी आर ह्यूमन बींग्स ओके अब ह्यूमन बींग्स के अलावा भी तो बहुत सारे ऑर्गेनिज्म हैं बहुत सारे डिफरेंट एनिमल्स हैं प्लांट्स हैं ये भी नहीं तो बहुत सारे माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म प्रेजेंट है हमारी एनवायरमेंट में माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म इंक्लूड ऑल द बैक्टीरियाज एंड द वायरसेज the algae which we uh, you know which is present or the fungi which is present so ye sare organisms different modes se apna nutrition derive kar sakte hain so there are particularly two modes of nutrition the first one being autotrophic mode and the second one being heterotrophic mode now agar hum is autotroph aur heterotroph ko samajhne ki koshish kare so we can break this word into two auto and trophic auto means self एंट्रॉफिक मीन्स टू प्रोड्यूस और टू फॉर्म सो ऐसे ऑर्गेनिज्म जो अपना फूड खुद प्रोड्यूस करते हैं प्रोड्यूस देर ओन फूड आर नोन एज ऑटोट्रॉफ इसका एग्जाम्पल होगा प्लांट्स प्लांट्स अपना फूड खुद प्रिपेयर करते हैं सो दे आर ऑटोट्रॉफ नेक्स्ट कम्स हेट्रोट्रॉफ heterotrophs are the organisms which depend on autotrophs for food for example human beings hum human beings plants par depend karte hain directly or indirectly for food so we are heterotrophs there are three different modes of nutrition under heterotrophic mode which is saprophytic parasitic and holozoic saprophytic means the one where the organism feed on dead and decaying matter dead and decaying matter parasitic mode of nutrition is the one where the organism lives in close relationship with the host to derive nutrition and holozoic nutrition is the one where organism intakes complex or solid food so we human beings are heterotrophic organisms and particularly we are holozoic we human beings are holozoic or we show holozoic form of nutrition holozoic mode of nutrition because human beings intake complex or solid food from our mouth in this slide there has been a difference between the autotrophs and heterotrophs autotrophs are the organisms which uh, show autotrophic mode of nutrition whereas heterotrophs are the ones that show heterotrophic mode of nutrition there are some example for example grasses plants some autotrophic bacteria algae which is also included in plants all of them produce their own food so these organisms are autotrophs whereas grasshopper frog majority of animals fungi most of the bacteria they are heterotrophic because they depend on 
autotrophs for food now you might ask one question ki uh, agar koi organism hai which is feeding on another organism wo kaise heterotroph ho wo to autotrophs pe food ke liye depend nahi kar raha so see this let's take an example of a food chain food chain kya hote hai food chain is a chain jahan par one organism is eaten up by the next food chain mein sabse niche aate hai producers producers means the organisms which produce food producers ke baad aate hai primary consumers jo ki producers par directly feed karte hai then comes सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर्स जो प्रोड्यूसर्स पर फीड ना करके प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर्स पर फीड करते हैं बट इफ यू लुक इन अ वे सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर्स इनडायरेक्टली प्रोड्यूसर्स पर ही डिपेंडेंट है क्योंकि इन प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर्स को एनर्जी कहां से मिल रही है प्रोड्यूसर्स से सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर्स को एनर्जी कहां से मिल रही है प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर्स से बट इनडायरेक्टली दे आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन प्रोड्यूसर्स देन लास्टली कम्स टर्शरी कंज्यूमर्स Now let's take an example of a terrestrial food chain. Terrestrial food chain में producers होंगे green plants. Green plants या यहाँ पे हम एक specific example ले लेते हैं grass. Grass is eaten up by grasshopper. Grasshopper is further eaten by snake. and snake is eaten by vulture so this is an example of a food chain where these grasses or green plants are the producers they could also be called autotrophs kyunki ye apna khana khud produce kare kisi aur pe dependent nahi hai grasshopper is the primary consumer snake is the secondary consumer whereas vulture or eagle is the tertiary consumer grass was the autotroph they show autotrophic mode of nutrition whereas grasshopper snake and vulture they are heterotrophs If we take the example of grasshopper, अगर हम grasshopper को देखें grasshopper directly dependent है on grass for food. तो ये तो proper heterotroph है but snake and vulture are also heterotrophs क्योंकि वो कहीं ना कहीं indirectly green plants पर ही dependent है for their food. So this is why all the organisms which do not make their food are called heterotrophs because they depend directly or indirectly on autotrophs for food so i hope this much was clear for you uh, clear to you this was all for today's video we continue with the next topic in the further videos like we'll be discussing autotrophic mode in a separate video and heterotrophic mode in a separate video if you still have any doubts you can either email on the email id given below which is boundlesslearning17@gmail.com or you can either comment in the comment box below and if you have watched the video till here kindly do subscribe if you like the videos if you like the way that this teaching is being going on so kindly do subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one keep learning